Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Tech Guns tutorial series. Oh, come on! Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> welcome back to our Tech Guns tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the two um, additional, not so simple, but still quite simple guns that we can craft now that we have the um, metal press. Oh, come on, get out of here. We're going to take a look at these two guns that I've been using to deal with this zombie nuisance. That should be good for now. Okay. The bolt action rifle and the Kalashnikov. Now, in order to get both of these, and in order to go further in tech guns, because almost every gun requires this, or at least this, later on, we need to craft ourselves a hardened steel barrel. Uh, in order to do that, you need access to obsidian steel, which was a big point of contention in uh, my Let's Play series. Um, oh, come on, get out of here. Is the grass blocking my bullets? All right, let's get ourselves some peace and quiet. Now, <laughs> I didn't think it would be that bad. Um, obsidian steel is acquired very, uh, you know, simply, although not easily in certain circumstances, with obsidian and steel. <laughs> I know, it, it's, it, it's rocket science. You never would have figured it out. So all you have to do is go to the metal press, which we talked about in the previous episode, Place a piece of let's get rid of all that. Put a piece of obsidian in it, along with iron. Wait, no, steel. What am I talking about? Not iron, steel. I should have some over here. Yes, indeed, steel. Not iron, steel. Obsidian, steel. There you go. Obsidian steel ingot. Let's pull that out of there. It's really loud and annoying. So that will produce obsidian steel ingots. It'll use one of each, one obsidian and one steel, give you an obsidian steel ingot, okay? And you need those. You need those for a lot of things in tech guns. Next episode, we'll talk about some of uh, the, the, the simple armor, uh, some of the simple armors that the game adds, and we'll need obsidian steel for that as well, or some of them. So get yourselves six of the obsidian steel ingots, and you can craft a hardened steel barrel, just like so. Once you have that, you have everything you need to craft both the bolt action rifle and the Kalashnikov. To craft yourself a bolt action rifle, you'll need a wooden stock, the iron receiver, the hardened steel barrel, which we just made, an iron plate, which you can get simply by putting two pieces of iron into that uh, the metal press, and a block of glass. It can be pretty much any block of glass uh, from whatever mods you're using. This is just a standard block of glass. Gives you the bolt action rifle. Now, the handling characteristics on the bolt action rifle, if you press right click, by default, you can scope in, and unlike Call of Duty, there's no scope sway. <laughs> uh, so you can get a scope shot, um, you know, and, and the crosshair will move depending on how you bop around. You know, it's got some, it's got sway to it when you move, and then it will be pretty darn accurate. To a point, it gets more. Basically, it's more accurate the farther away you are from it. <laughs> but it's pretty good. Uh, as you can see, the fire rate is like that. You have to click every time. You can't hold the button down. It's semi-automatic. Uh, it holds six rounds. It fires rifle bullets. It deals uh, 16 damage up close and 10 damage at a distance, at a range of 20 to 40. And a spread of 0 0.05, so it's very accurate. With a reload time of 2.5 seconds. That's the main problem with the bolt action rifle. Once you've uh, extended those six shots, it takes a long time to reload. Now, one of the benefits of this is that it has innate armor penetration. Uh, it penetrates 15% of the enemy's armor, which is really nice against enemies that have armor. And its zoom toggle is 0.35. 
multiplier. Um, so what I'll do now is we'll go out of slash game mode zero. We'll go out of creative mode so that we can fire off all the rounds in this gun and uh, you can see how much, uh, you know, how long the reload takes. So first we're going to go into our ammo press and we're going to make ourselves our rifle bullets. You need to make rifle bullets for the bolt action rifles, so you need to have the ammo press. You can't make those in your hand. Gunpowder. Uh, copper or iron or tin, a lot of different metals will work for this. And then le lead or steel. But I would obviously recommend lead. What else are you going to use lead for? There's a lot of things that you're going to want to use steel for, though. All right. So now we'll take our bolt action, and you can just have these in your inventory, it'll just fire them off. You can see now it says time 16 down there. Uh, for each one of those you get 6 shots, okay? So it, it's not bad, but it's not the most... It's decently ammo efficient because of the, uh, the high damage per shot. We'll just fire these off. 5, 6. Now you'll see how long it takes to reload. That's quite a bit. Uh, especially if you're actively fighting a bunch of zombies, that reload time can be really bad. Um, I've had a run in with that myself on the Let's Play series. Uh, the reload time when it happens in inconvenient moments is not good. Okay? So now we'll take a look at the Kalashnikov, a bit of an upgrade from the bolt action rifle. Uh, it's the largest, um, you know, it's a big magazine capacity, obviously. It's our first assault rifle. So to make yourself a Kalashnikov, what? Oh, goodness. Why is that still in there? Everything got screwed up. That's not good at all. Anyway, to make yourself a Kalashnikov, um, you're going to need a wooden stock, an iron receiver, the hardened steel barrel, so the same as the bolt action, but instead of a scope bit on top, you need a log of some sort of wood, doesn't matter what, and the assault rifle magazine. Now, if you put an empty one in this, it'll start out empty. If you use a full one, it'll start out loaded. That's the only difference there. So it doesn't matter which one you use. Okay? Now that brings us on to the Assault Rifle Magazine itself. So in order to make the Kalashnikov and in order to use it, you need to make these Assault Rifle Magazines. In the previous episode, we looked at how to make 9mm magazines. And this is no different. It's six steel nuggets with a mechanical part in the bottom. So it's the same recipe as the 9mm mags, except it uses steel instead of iron. And you get four of them per recipe, so it's actually very quite nice. You're going to want, you know, a couple of these. You can go through the ammo on this gun decently quickly if you just hold it down. Better to burst fire. Alright, so, the Kalashnikov. It holds 30 rounds. It also fires rifle bullets. However, you need magazines this time. So, we've got... Uh, 15 rifle bullets here, and we got some assault rifle mags uh, in our inventory. So let's go ahead and fill it up. So simply place the assault rifle magazine in there, and then add three rifle bullets. That will give you a filled assault rifle mag. So for those bullets that we had, uh, we can fill five magazines. Now if we look here, it says 30 times 5. So for each one of those magazines, we get 30 shots. Now we use three bullets to fill it. Okay. And so compared to the bolt action rifle, we're getting more ammo per bullet, right? You only get six ammo per bullet. Uh, in this case, we're getting 10 ammo per bullet. However, the Kalashnikov doesn't deal as much damage. Uh, you saw me using this against the zombies earlier. It's got quite a nice rate of fire. It's got a little spread, but it's not terrible. You can't aim down sights or anything. So this is it. Uh, not a bad gun. As you can see, it, it could explode some, some enemies pretty well. The Kalashnikov um, deals 9 damage uh, up close, 5 at a at range, in a range of 20 to 35. Uh, a spread of 0 0.03, it's actually got a lower uh, spread than the spread on the bolt action rifle, interestingly enough. Clip size of 30, a reload time of 2 and a quarter seconds, so only just slightly uh, less than the bolt action with the difference that in the bolt action you're only loading 6, in this one you're loading 30, and it also has 15% armor pen, that little point zero 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 one at the end. I'm not really sure why it does that. Uh, so the, ha the characteristics of these two guns are very similar, uh, except that the Kalashnikov deals about half the damage, um, a little more uh, than half the damage at up, clo uh, up close, 
but half a damage at range per shot. So not bad, because you can fire off shots pretty quick. Uh, so we'll fire off this whole mag, and we'll see how long the reload is. There you go. It's almost as long as the bolt action. It's only a quarter of a uh, second shorter. So for both of these guns, the reload might be an issue. Um, so if you're going to have a lot of zombies or enemies around, I'd recommend having a sidearm on you, like one of the pistols we looked at previously. But, uh, you know, it's not bad. You get a lot more shots out of this. All right. Uh, so now let's just go back into creative just to make sure I don't get killed by zombies. Uh, but we, we, we shot a lot of zombies um, before, so maybe we don't actually have to go shoot any zombies. But I always like to end, it's nice to end these by shooting zombies. So we'll set the difficulty back to normal. And there's a big cave right down here. We should have some zombies. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. Oh well, we shot plenty of zombies before. I thought they just popped back, but they didn't. Anyway. That's the Bolt Action Rifle and the Kalashnikov, both early game weapons, both requiring the uh, hardened steel barrel, the obsidian steel ingots. Make yourself a lot of obsidian steel because you're going to need, you know, obsidian steel is used for a lot of things from now on. The higher level guns will use obsidian steel uh, for things that these guns use iron for. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next week, we are going to take a look at the early game armors in uh, tech guns because if you have tech guns installed, you really want to be using the armor from Tech Guns, and we'll talk about all of that uh, next week. It's going to get a little in depth because there's a lot of stuff to talk about with armors, and we can't, you know, we can't all be shooting zombies all day. All day. So anyway, uh, stay safe out there. <laughs> Join our Discord with the link in the description. Uh, the Discord is really fun, and it's going to—it's the best place to, to talk with everybody that works on the channel. Um, we also have a Steam group if you want to join our Steam group. Uh, I'll be putting the link in the description for that as well. We just started it, so there's not very many members, but, uh, you know, it, it's something new. Um, if you like my video, uh, don't forget to like and comment on the video. Uh, YouTube likes it when you do that uh, for all of your creators. And if you really like me, uh, <laughs> check out our Patreon page where you can support the channel directly for as little as a dollar a month if you think I deserve it. So, thanks for watching. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.